basic facts about the African Court on Human and People's Rights. The African Court on Human and People's Rights is a continental court established by member states of the African Union to enhance the protection of human and people's rights in Africa. The court was established by virtue of Article 1 of the Protocol to the African Charter on Human and People's Rights on the establishment of an African Court on Human and People's Rights. The protocol was adopted on the 9th of June 1998 in Burkina Faso and came into force on the 25th of January 2004. The court then started its operations officially in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in November 2006. In August 2007, the court moved to its permanent seat in Arusha, Tanzania. The court was established to complement and reinforce the protective mandate of the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, often referred to as Banjul Commission. The mission of the court is to enhance the protective mandate of the African Commission on Human and People's Rights by strengthening the human rights protection system in Africa and ensuring respect for and compliance with the African Charter on Human and People's Rights as well as other international human rights instruments through judicial decisions. The vision of the court is an Africa with a viable human rights culture. Core Values The court bases its core values on the African Charter and other internationally recognized principles of human rights and the promotion of the rule of law. The court continues to foster and uphold the following core values. Judicial independence from any partisanship, bias, influence, whether it comes from states, NGOs, funding agencies or individuals. Fair and impartial application and interpretation of the provisions of the African Charter, the Protocol, the Rules and other relevant international human rights instruments. Transparent and ethical accountability in the operations of the court. Fundamental rights of every individual to enjoy basic civil, political, social, economic and cultural rights are upheld. Collaboration with relevant stakeholders in pursuance of the court's objective of protecting human and people's rights. Non-discrimination and equality in performance of the work of the court. Integrity of the judges and staff working at the court. Provide equal access to all potential users of the court. Be responsive to the needs of those who approach the court. Since the adoption of the protocol in 1998, only 32 of the 55 member states of the African Union have ratified the protocol. In addition to the ratification of the protocol, states have to make declaration required under Article 34.6 of the protocol to allow its citizens to bring cases directly before the court. Without such a declaration, the court would have no jurisdiction over cases brought by individuals and NGOs. The court is composed of 11 judges, nationals of member states of the African Union. The judges are elected by the Assembly of Heads of State and the Government of the African Union for a period of six years and may be re-elected only once. These judges are elected after nomination by their respective states. The court has two jurisdictions, and that is contentious and advisory. Under the contentious jurisdiction, which is provided for under Article 3 of the Protocol, the court exercises contentious jurisdictions over all cases and disputes submitted to it concerning the interpretation and application of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, the Protocol, and any other relevant human rights instrument ratified by the states concerned. Under the advisory jurisdiction which is provided for under Article 4 of the Protocol, the court may, at the request of a member state of the African Union, AU, or any of the organs of the African Union, or any African organization recognized by the African Union, provide an opinion on any legal matter relating to the Charter or to any other relevant human rights instruments, provided that the subject matter of the opinion is not related to a matter being examined by the Commission. All applications submitted to the court